Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform. Track 5, No Hands, featuring Roscoe Dash and Wale. Produced by Drummer Boy. This is the rating they've all been waiting on. Uh, six plus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, you okay? You okay right now? It's I okay, just Jesse. Ha-ha. Okay? <laughs> And it's not on a uh, quote unquote real hip hop underground dusty whatever you try to say Mel doesn't like, which is completely false. But yeah, okay. What, Listen, what's your rating? This this has been a rating that I I struggled with initially, but now I feel very strongly about flat six. Yeah, uh, look, I don't I have just, much to say. I don't. I, I I have a lot to say. So say what you got to say, and then okay, I'll, I'll lay out why I landed on six. I knew this song more in title than like sound. I was I know shocked it was to hear that played no, a lot this week. Yeah, I asked you what you thought of this song, and you're like, "This is my first time hearing it." I'm like, "Wait, no way! This is the biggest yeah. song of the album." I'd heard it, but had never heard like listened to it. You know, because it was it was played a lot. You know, you'd see it play like I, I was familiar with the title, like, OK, no hands featuring blah, blah, blah. But I never sat down to listen to the song. This song is literally a six plus for one reason. The melody where it's uh, we go. That, that, that's my favorite part of the song. <laughs> OK, that, that's it. That's like that's the whole. Oh, the only so it reason would be lower song. without that. Without that. If that part wasn't in the song, it'd be a six, six minus. That part is funny, okay? But everything else, uh, I gotta say, man, this what a tag. Listen to this track, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the drummer boy tag. It's on Mel every much time he made a song beats. for his crush. <laughs> he's got that, and then he's got like one of those Lex Luger rise sounds that he uses as well. Oh yeah, so yeah. you know it's him. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh I'm not the biggest drama boy fan. I guess we could start there. Okay. Um this beat is incongruent with the rest of this album, or at least my vision of this album, what I think this album mainly is. This shouldn't be on here. Um here's a thought. There's a big difference between knowing a hit song and liking a hit song. Yeah. Because and just knowing a song in general and liking a song, this song was a hit. Just because I know every word of this song doesn't mean it's a good song or that I like it. It's a song perhaps I was subjected to, and that's basically it. Some of my notes, chorus is the best thing, but also slightly irritating. You know, it's a little bit of that, you know, I told you long ago on the road. (laughs) You know, the Roscoe Dash. It 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 can be a bit grating. But it's also the most memorable thing about the song. Wale, he's fine, but we also don't care. Roscoe no. <laughs> Dash's actual verse is completely unnecessary. Waka Flocka may be the biggest afterthought in his own song. Uh, this drummer boy beat does not belong in the album. If we're going to make an album where everything sounds exactly the same, let's fucking commit to that and not make an album where two thirds sound exactly the same, but the rest is dabbling in other regional sounds. That's my thought. I don't like the song. I'm slightly irritated by it, but it is catchy. It's not bad, but it's not for me. It's definitely played out, and I just don't want to sit here and be like, it's good, it's no hands. Oh, you're a loser. You ain't at the club. You ain't going outside. You weren't outside. You know? No, this song sucks, guys. You don't have to like every song that was playing outside when you were outside. I was outside, okay? And I didn't like this shit. I don't like it then. I don't like it now. Oh, well, you never got grinding on to... Girl, the way you moving, man, shut the fuck up. Living for the fucking glory days of 12 years ago now with gray <laughs> hairs in your beard. Okay, yeah. telling me I wasn't outside. Tend your own fucking garden, loser. Okay? No hands, no problem. Six. <laughs> Look, this is what I got to say. You said he was fine. I got a little more to say about Huawei. All right. This verse made me more depressed than any other verse on the album. Because Wale is probably... Well, I mean, Pastor Shore is pretty... 
Wale is one of the more competent rappers who appears on this album as a rapper. We know his pedigree. Bar for bar. Um, yeah, bar for bar. I mean, him, that's not the kind of song he's writing for, though. It's not. But but we know what his ceiling is. You know, we know how good he can be. We know what he traffics in most of the time. So when I hear him on here, he has a higher ceiling for me than Waka Flocka. I'll just say that. But yeah, I mean, he's fine in the sense that he gives a serviceable performance for like as a rapper for hire on a song. There's nothing that he does that's particularly memorable. Well, well, no, here, here's what depresses me about it. Cause you got to read between the, I, I set this up because as a, as a rapper uh, myself, one, one sec, Mel, I just want to say, I believe this is what got him signed to MMG when things oh, fell out verse? between him and Interscope. Yeah. Because I think it, Rick Ross saw, Oh no, he could actually do something being himself, even on tracks that people don't necessarily see him on. That ties into what I have to say then, because, okay. As a rapper myself and not really trafficking in this brand of music and knowing what I'm good at and what I want to convey mm-hmm. with my art, I heard things in this verse that depressed me, that made me sad because I felt for him. He says, she said, look, my no hands and no darling, I don't dance. And I'm with Roscoe. I'm with Waka. I think I deserve a chance. Stop right there. That is the most self-aware, please let me continue to have a career. Please don't let me fall off before I even get started. These blogs hype me up. I'm on shaky ground. Attention deficit didn't do what I needed it to do. This isn't even my place. I think because I'm around these people who are more marketable in a mainstream sense, you should, I think, please give me a chance. There's a I sense think of I deserve a chance. You're saying. Bro, it, it's that self-deprecating self-awareness in the right, line. That, I think those, like, those are very I think I'm, like, hey, I'm on the record rapper. with these guys. Like, come on, you got to give me something. Like, it's something. It's something I would say. It's like these days. Like, I'm on a. I'm with Drake. I'm with Jack. I think I deserve a chance. You know, well, like, the thing is, it's like it's weird because you have to think about how the public viewed Wale at the time and not how they view him now. A guy who's been associated with Rick Ross for over a decade where right. if he popped up on a Waka Flocka song or whoever the hot Southern rapper of the day is or street rapper of the day and did a verse, I think at this point he's enough of a seasoned vet and he's been around guys like Meek and Ross and Waka and whoever that he can hang in that space and it not feel awkward. But this song in particular was almost the testing grounds for that. No, he performed well. I, mean, I agree. But he doesn't I don't like, sound out of place. I don't. I don't like his verse. I just but think the, he did fine. The act, yeah, no, he he is fine. He performed well. It, he doesn't sound out of place. But as I'm listening to what he's saying, the actual words, I can dig through that and be like, "This is a guy who's scared. This is a guy who knows that this isn't the kind of music he would prefer to make." But he's got to make the most of this. I mean, and Wine's right. like, and you not hit Boo I'm Wale. He knows he's not the most popping or recognizable Wale, rapper. Wale she probably doesn't even know who fan. he is. So, like, think about this in wrestling terms, right? Vince gave Wale a gimmick because his previous gimmick was not working out. And he went out there and did what he could with it instead of complaining and digging his heels in and saying, nah, I don't want to do this. This isn't me. And for what it's worth, I think he he did make the most of it. I think when you see how things played out, it's a story of perseverance. But yes, I can hear some of that desperation as you explain each bar kind of divorced from the song itself. I mean, it it continues. I mean, he's a rapper, rapper. He's the only person I think on this entire album that mentioned 16. I got 16 for this Roscoe thing, but I'm almost done. Let me get back to it. Like, that's such a rapper thing to That's just like mention that thing. you're doing six. That's almost bars. like the one thing I can say is don't put that in there. If you're trying right. to just write a serviceable, it verse slipped out a, though. Cause he, cause yeah. he, you know, Mel, Mel ran the black light over the Wally verse and he Bro. saw all the stains. <laughs> I, I saw, I saw all of it. I saw the signs. You can't get that past me because I, I know, I feel like we're 
we're kindred spirits, him and I, in that way. Like, I've tried to be on songs that I don't belong on, and I always betray myself, you know? So there were certain lines, certain things where it's like, you know, I, I felt for him. That's all I'm going to say. I felt for him. Uh, best of love to Wale. Uh, Makes tape about nothing. Review out now on Patreon. But a Roscoe Dash, I don't know why he got a verse. Uh, Who? I, I know Roscoe P. Cold Chain. I know him too. Uh, I be going ham. Shoddy upgrade from Baloney. I'm so glad we don't go ham anymore. Let me tell you. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, ham is... I don't want to get, I'll save it for fast food rankings, but ham is one of the worst meats. Uh, it's not inedible, but it's, it's way overrated. Um, rain, rain, go away. Oh That's shit. No, we get say. like a, a song for like the Jews and the Muslims. No ham. <laughs> Girl, the way you food in got me in a trance. DJ, oh, turn me up. Baby, this your jam. I'm a something, something, something in a pan. You're going to make me dinner and we ain't going to eat no ham. <laughs> By the way, you know? I'm Jewish. <laughs> it's July, yeah. folks. That's no right. ham coming soon. No hams. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, we know we're still in, uh, you know, the, the 2010. Your booty got me lost like Nemo. We were still getting Finding Nemo. I mean, I think lines. we're still getting Finding Nemo punchlines, unfortunately. Sadly. Exactly. I think maybe we're upgraded to Dory now. Are we? <laughs> or maybe downgraded is the better word for that. We're downgraded to Dory. Finding Dory. I, I got I got my Nemo bar off back in the day too. No, I'll see no. I'll see Toy Story sequels. I ain't seeing the other sequels. Okay. The the buzz around the this is what happened. Finding Nemo was like a nobody really knew what it was going to be because it was a new property. It was a runaway hit. Like it, it, nobody it was fire. It, it blew it up. It was fire. But it was fire. It was good. Like it became a Disney staple. Yeah. You know, it was a, but like, I think they waited too long to drop finding Dory. They waited too long for all the sequels except for toy Basically. story. Yeah. Toy story will accept sequels for the other ones. It's it was too late, guys. You can't do Disney Monsters has a problem University waiting too long. Like the Incredibles was a, a big thing, but they Dude, waited eleven too long years to drop between the Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. I think again, yeah, too long. I don't know what their deal is with the. I mean, I get it. Like you want to take your time and you know ensure quality, but how is it only like, four years between Toy Story and Toy Story Two though? Right, I don't know. You know, and that was actually a good sequel where I feel like. A lot of these ones that take like over a decade aren't even all that great. They're so mid. Like, they're fucking mid. We know. I think it. they we fall out of the groove of the property that they're trying to expand yes. on. You got to stay. And the property in that falls mindset. out of the zeitgeist and the consciousness. Yes. You know, Nemo was popping, bro. He Nemo was popping. was crazy. It was crazy. And they let it die. <laughs> they just. Meanwhile, they let it die. Ice Age put out like seven different oh, movies. Man. They didn't <laughs> let that shit die. They had to work harder, though, because they weren't Disney. They're were like, you know, what was that DreamWorks? Yeah, you but know. I'll tell you this much. We uh, we got really stoned in 2007, I think, me and uh, David, the David. Mm-hmm. And we went to see Cars. But before Cars was playing, they were playing like a scene from Ice Age 2 in the theater okay. as part of like the theater pre-roll before the trailers start okay and listen i might have been just high high mool style but i thought it was the funniest thing i'd ever seen in my <laughs> life <laughs> and i refuse to watch ice age 2 because i'm afraid it won't be as funny as, as good as the trailer as the clip well i don't know if it was the trailer or if it was like a clip from the film that's but it deep, involved man. that's deep. it involved that fucking <laughs> was it the, the nut? scrap the the scrap guy the squirrel guy thing well those little those little like mini those like vignette those were money though yeah they would show yeah. those before mo- him chasing yeah. that nut was incredible that's what it was I think him chasing yes. the nut dude I, yeah, I'm telling you but he was like falling off of like ice and avalanches yeah. of snow and shit like that dude the funniest thing I'd ever seen in, in my life I swear no cap funnier than any human being could possibly be. <laughs> You were definitely high, but he, it was great though. He was he was money before the movie. Scrat, he was a what's nice his name? Treat. Scrat. 
Um, what was his name? Scrat? What's his name? Let me see. I'll tell you this because it wasn't Ice DreamWorks. Stage. It was, I guess, Fox Animation Studios that became Blue Sky. Scrat. Recently, yeah, he's Scrat. He's Scrat, bro. Yeah. They shut down last year. And I don't know if you saw this, but like they finally let they finally let our boy catch the nut. After no years way. of making those. Yeah, they finally let him catch it when they shut the studio down. It was it was it was powerful, man. It was powerful. <laughs> shout out to Blue Sky Studios. Um, shout yeah, out this Scrat. was not the nut. I don't think this was the nut scene from the first movie. It might have been the nut scene from the second movie. Yeah, he was their mascot. Apparently, Scrat. He should be. Scrat is Scrat is money. Yeah, Scrat he was, is a ten. Scrat is a fucking ten. <laughs> Oh, I see. Scrat finally gets the acorn in last ever short. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. They it. put, they did they put all the scrats out on, on disc? They probably got a super cut on YouTube or something. Bro, this is, see, this is, <laughs> you know, shout out to the homie Scrat, okay? The homie, for sure. For, you got to relate to Scrat, okay? He's just trying He's to just get like, a nut. Trying to get a nut and trying across years and years and years, you know, never giving up. Oh man! Just like the, the just the physical comedy of it, just yes. the, his his facials, you know, his body language. Every the scrat guy is. <laughs> who is this? I never. What's it, where's that drop? It's better than anybody. Was <laughs> that was high moves. With a bucket of popcorn with nacho cheese on it. Oh, my God. In the theater okay. for Cars. Let me see. Waiting for it to uh, start watching Scrat, which was better than Cars. Cars was trash. Oh, you thought it was trash? I hated it. Yeah, I thought it was awful. So All I wasn't I just say... high. If I was just... I, look, Cars would have been a classic if it was just like, oh, no, you were high. Scrat is what made that a classic. Cars is not peak disney but at that point pixar had not missed once to me and then that was it that was the first miss and it was two for kids got it it was two for kids you know i don't give a damn about these cars we don't (laughs) care about no larry the cable guy get some real voice actors in here oh was he mater (laughs) yeah uh, here's here's the drop for the homie Scrat. I think it's great. This is better than anybody. Who is this? We know now it's Scrat. Right and... at a like one thirty p.m. showing on a Friday <laughs> of Cars. The thing I remember most about Cars is on Disney Channel when they were promoting it. They had like this song on the soundtrack. It was this dude like one little slip. Oh, dude, Cars slip. has. Uh... Life uh, is a highway. I want to ride it all, all night, night long. See, that's yeah. money. That's good. That's at least yeah. eight. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck anyway. those cars. Okay? <laughs> and I got another opinion. I, I, I like Up quite a bit. You know Up? Oh, yeah, Up, yeah. But I got to say, I, I don't like The Incredibles. I never did. Um oh. Okay. Actually, that would mean that that was their first miss for me. But I guess I didn't feel as strongly against it as I did about Cars. I was just like, yeah, it was okay. I rock with The Incredibles. Again, not peak Disney, but I, I liked it's, it. It's not peak. The way people talked about it, I was like, you guys ain't Pixar, okay? Toy Story's better I, I than I knew they shit. were capping because I knew it was like, watch, they'll finally drop Incredibles 2 and nobody's going to go out and see it. And that's what happened. It flopped, right? Okay. I don't think it did that well. No, but I never that, hear I'm gonna I'm gonna throw another one under the bus from the Prime Arrow. Wally, okay. get the fuck out of here. Wally, never saw it. Hated it. All right, All Wally right. is trash. Cars, trash. Incredibles, not trash, but not good. Sign of things to come for sure. I had to like it because they had my little emo shoddy in there. Was it was it Violet or something? How old is she? <laughs> I, look, man. All right. I'm speaking once again. I'm speaking from my kid voice. All right, Violet Parr, she was money. All right, now this I'm man, sure she's grown in the in the. This season. man had had a chance to say something that everyone agrees on, which is the mom <laughs> is thick, but he had to go on out on the limb <laughs> and talk is. about the kid. Because I was a kid at the time. Okay, let me let me see what happened to her in the 
Where's the sequel? What is she doing? This? She's got to be an adult now, right? Yeah, and Bart Simpson. She was a teen. Bart Simpson's got to be a fucking forty-year-old <laughs> man. I'm sure. I mean, they did episodes where he grew up. He had like a beer gut. Dude, they're <laughs> not can. Gut. They're not canon though. They're like man, uh, what yeah. would happen in the future yeah. potentially. I think. Right. Oh, I think she's still a kid in the sequel. Ain't that about a bitch? All right. Anyway. No, it's not. It's I was just having a conversation earlier. It's, ca- it's cartoon <laughs> 101, basically. <laughs> right. They never age because you got to. I was I was at, I was at the DMV earlier with my mom and it was a chicken there. And I was telling Styles, I'm like, oh, she kind of looked like Anne Frank. And I was like, damn, she was a kid, though. <laughs> I can't keep. You got to understand. Mel had a crush on Anne Frank in the fourth grade. Okay. Obviously, now I don't because I'm an adult and she's a child. All right. Imagine but, having a crush on Anne Frank. I, we and don't need to dis- get in. And then this. expressing that thought I on it July to her. of all months. <laughs> all right. We should move on. <laughs> All right, that's that's she would have been a believer levels of just <laughs> totally distaste. Yay! All right, man. Look, Not I remind y'all my though, watch. Well, that's that's Mel's classic line about Anne Frank. The truth is, she would probably be like niggers reading my diary. Okay, she wouldn't have approved of this. All right, I'm not saying she was racist, but there's a chance she could have been, given the era. All right. So not what? The Nazis deserved the deserved to kill her? Oh, no, I ain't saying that. I ain't Wait, saying I don't that. think they did kill her, right? Didn't she starve? Uh, what happened? She, I looked this up. There, she was last seen like at one of the camps. I think she was. Oh, they got her. They got her. She, no, they I did. Thought get maybe her. I thought maybe she died in isolation. N- no, no. Uh, I, she it may have been starvation or disease or something. But no, they did get her, unfortunately. Um, Damn it. Yeah, well, I know, right? I uh, hate to hear it, but also uh, hate that I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Anne Frank. That's my dog, though. I remember, like, what rapper freestyled over what beats, but I can't remember one of the most pivotal stories of my people. <laughs> Hold on, Whatever. we got a, got a nice DM from Jesse. I won't, I won't read it, but it's, it's nice. So Wait, it's nice. Remember. Hold on. Yeah, it's a nice. Did he send us money? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> it's just him acknowledging that we did something good. You know, it's always oh. good, like, positive reinforcement. You know. Yeah. A nice comment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesse's know. going to Cantor's on facts. Oh, facts. Yeah. For, uh, for July, it's perfect. You know, Jewish deli. Oh, is that okay? Shout out to him. He knows. He's celebrating. He doesn't even know it. There you go. And by the way, shout out to Jesse for just randomly sending us pictures of him at Big Lots, like talking about the street gospel <laughs> challenge still. We love it. We want people to participate. It's still open. It's, it's a lifetime challenge, really. It doesn't ever stop. It's a lifetime challenge, but you, you should send us pictures of dinner for schmucks from the DVD Blu ray. That's aisle. the challenge, you know? You go to your local Big Lots, look for dinner for schmucks. Okay, was it uh, Steve Carell and uh, who? Jesse claims he couldn't find it at his, but I think he might have just looked on like a little display, but there might have been a larger section he might have missed. Cause it's yeah, there. I thought Trust I didn't me. see it at first, and then I ended up finding like three. So it's there. It's there. You got to really dig. You got to, you know, really get into it. You know, it's a dinner for schmucks challenge, sugar-free street gospel <laughs> with the pimping waves out now. Yep. Sugar-free street gospel review. And if there's one thing or a few things in life, death, taxes, and dinner for schmucks at Big Lots. So, nope, there's four things death, taxes, dinner for schmucks at Big Lots, and dinner roll. God, this is why this is why three, threes, a, was it threes, a crap, some company, four is a three. This is why four things is bad. You just three, keep it at three, okay? Well, no, three is a crowd, three's a, also three is bad. Wait, no, three's a company. Wait, wait, th- wait yeah, two's company, three's see. a crowd. Yeah, two's company, three's a, a two crowd. Two ain't no company, that's a duo. Who made this phrase? The three's uh-huh. a crowd. That's that's a bad that's bad. Three's not a crowd. That's like it a is. that's a good amount of people. It was a like, different time. Uh, people weren't living one on top of the other back then. Dictionary.com. Mm-hmm. It's the idea third person spoils the ideal combination of a couple. 
whatever. All right. I mean, to be fair, though, triple threat matches are often not superior to regular one on one matches. Unless we're talking about Vengeance 2002. Well, that's a classic. All right. But anyway, uh, we're way off track. We got to get back here. This is the no hands review. (laughs) We got lost like Nemo. Okay. Yeah. So we got lost trying to find you. Oh, no. We don't need to mention that bad mail record. Let's just move on. Uh, You ready to move on? Allegedly, yes. Okay. Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform.